Good morning. Today is Friday, March 31st, 2023, and it is day number 447 in my fasting journey and day number 90 in my exercise journey. So these days I am doing OMAD where I have a meal every morning around 7 and then when I finish my food I fast until the next morning around 7. The exception to this is on Fridays because on Fridays I have a play date with my nephews, my three nephews, and it coincides with their dinner time. And something I've been doing this year it ha has been eating dinner with them. And so um, I don't know what I'm having for my refeed today. I usually find out when I get to their house, but um, you know, I've, you know, really look forward to my Friday meals because um, it makes my nephews happy and I get to have a meal with some of my most favorite people in the entire world. So in terms of my exercise journey, so I got a 20 minute scenic bike ride in yesterday and the goal for April, which is, you know, starting tomorrow is for me to do a class ride with an instructor every single day in the month of April. And so some days I might want to do, you know, two bike rides. And um, when that happens, then, you know, one ride will be with an instructor and another ride will be um, a scenic bike ride. But I would really like to, you know, um, start taking a little bit more um, instructor-led classes because when I take um, classes with instructors, I push myself and I don't really push myself when I'm doing scenic bike, bike rides. So that's kind of like the goal for April. So what I wanted to talk about in today's video, so in my video for four, day 439, I think it was, I mentioned that starting in April, I'm gonna drop down to making weekly videos and the reason why is because I don't really have a lot going on in my journey right now. And so um, basically, essentially, I'm kind of like maintaining. I still have like a few pounds to lose, but um, I'm not in a position to kind of like fast those pounds off at the moment. Um, and basically, the reason why is because, um, you know, all the fasting that I did last year, my body completely rejects the idea of any kind of like lengthy fasting these days. And so um, my body kind of like forced me into doing OMAD. And when I started doing OMAD, I essentially kind of like went into maintenance mode. And so um, anyways, so not a lot is going on with my body goals, but I'm fine right now. I'm kind of like, you know, stuck here around 118 and I'm definitely very grateful um, that I am, you know, maintaining around 118 because for many years I was maintaining around 219 pounds. So I'm very happy to, you know, be maintaining around 118. But anyways, before I, you know, kind of like, you know, transition into weekly videos um, for my last daily video, I wanted to, you know, tell you why I decided to document my journey online. And so basically the reason why I wanted to document my journey online is because I wanted you to see the least likely person in this entire world losing weight. And I thought that if I could, you know, show you that I'm losing this weight, it might remove any blocks in your mind um, to you, um, you know, losing the weight. And I wanted to show you what was possible. And so if I could do this, there's nothing about me that's particularly different um, you know from you um, so if I could do this you definitely can and you can do it a lot better than what I was able to do and you can probably do this a lot quicker than what I was able to do but I wanted you to see me you know losing this weight and so um, essentially this is called the Roger Bannister effect it was named after this athlete named Roger Bannister who was the first person um, documented to have broken the four minute mile and so um, I think it was like 1950s that he did this maybe 1954 to be precise and um, you know after he broke the four minute mile people all around the world were breaking the, the four minute mile and so I wanted you to see like me losing this weight so that you would know what's possible that you know you would know that you could do this because like I said there's nothing about me that's any different from you and if I could do this you absolutely can do this as well and one of the reasons why I will continue making videos even though that they will be weekly videos is because I want you to see me, you know, maintaining this weight. Because a few days ago, um, I did a video um, after learning about this like sobering st statistic. Basically, 90% of people who lose large amounts of weight gain this weight back. And I have vowed that I'm not going to be a part of that 90%. I'm going to be like a part of the 10% that keeps the weight off. And I thought that if you could see me, you know, kind of like keeping this weight off, um, maybe it might remove any blocks that you might have in your mind to you being able to like maintain any weight that you lose and so 
that's kind of like one of the reasons why I, you know, have documented my journey and will continue to document my journey because I want to show you what is possible. And so, um, anyways, um, like I said, nothing about me is any different from you. It's just that, you know, last year I made this decision that I, from the moment I got up to the moment I go to sleep, I was not going to leave my mind unattended. And when I did that, things really started happening for me. Once I got my mind kind of like out of my way, um, you know, I was able to kind of like move along my journey, essentially kind of like effortlessly without like any interference from my mind. And so that's just like one of the main things that you need to kind of like get a handle on is your like thoughts and what's going on in your mind. And when you can do that, you can basically do anything. You can do anything in this world, anything that may like seem impossible right now, you can do it. And I including, you know, losing this weight, no matter how much weight you have to lose, you can do it. You definitely can. And, you know, you just have to remember that when your mind kind of like starts, you know, um, you know, starts working on you, telling you why you shouldn't do this, why it's impossible. You just kind of like have to remember that your mind is just trying to keep you safe. Your mind like knows you like this one way. And like when you try to like move outside of like this box, when you try to like leave your comfort zone, your mind's trying to bring you back to safety. And so you, you got to like, you know, persist and, you know, spite of what's going on in your mind. And eventually your mind will get the picture that you're actually wanting to do this, that you actually um, want to like, you know, leave your comfort zone. And once your mind kind of like gets the um, picture, once it understands that you want to do this, that um, it will like do anything and everything in its power to kind of like see you achieve your goals. And um, so anyways, I just kind of like, you know, wanted to, you know, share my journey with you so that you would know that, you know, if you could, if I could do this, you definitely can. And you can use like my journey as kind of like a template and make it your own. And, um, you know, there are a lot of things that I would do like differently on my journey. Um, and, you know, my journey was not without, you know, um, you know, mistakes and, you know, some, you know, a little bit of failures along the way. But, you know, just as long as you kind of like pick yourself up and keep going, you will get to your destination all the time. You just have to, you know, keep going and persist and just like know that you can do this. And like I said, there's nothing about me that's like different from you. If I could do this, so can you. And I wanted to make sure that you knew that, which is why I posted my, you know, journey, um, you know, online so that you could, you know, see what was possible. So you could see, know that this is something that um, is, can be yours, that you can do this as well. And so um, that's kind of like my video for today. And, you know, since tomorrow is April, I'm not going to do a video and I'll be back on Sunday on April 2nd. And so... I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Friday and just a wonderful start to your weekend and that you enjoy your Saturday and I'll see you on Sunday, April 2nd. Take care. Bye.